Hello and welcome back to Brick Gaming YGO. Um, today I'm going to be talking about sort of on the same topic as the video I did about a year ago, which is how to build up a collection. But in this video, I'm going to be talking about how to build up a specific collection, like a personal collection, something that you want to hold on to for a very long time, and how to get into that. So, to give an example, I've been collecting all the OTS, Astro Pack, Turbo Pack, Supers, Ultras for the Turbo Packs, and the ulties for Astro Pack and OTS Pack. And I have a couple examples out here, just as what I've managed to pick up in about less than six month time period. And to really get into this, I'm going to break down a couple things that you can do um, and go over a couple different points on how, what's like the best way to come about a come about these cars, how to pick them up, etc. But before I get into that, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not already subscribed, definitely drop a sub and check out my other videos. Leave a comment on what you think. Any feedback is always welcome. And um, let's just get right into this. So the first way to do this, and this is going to be the most expensive way to do this, but it'll get you the most cards the most quickest, is to buy cards. Uh, buying singles, buying the ulties, all that type of fun stuff, or whatever collection you want to get into, buying the cards will get you there fastest. You could go out there and buy every single card you wanted to buy, get it in super quickly, and finish up your collection. It's not the cheapest way, it's the fastest way. And if you really want to do that, it's going to be pricey depending on what you want to collect and how you want to get into collecting, especially if you're going after like old school cards. If you're looking for like original set first editions, that's just going to be super expensive. If you're looking for like every super rare release from the um, OTS sets, it can be pricey depending on like what you're going after. So that's like the first way and the first like main example. Then secondly is to trade upwards. Um, trading upwards is pretty much what I did for this collection. So, as you progress on, a lot of the supers are going to be super easy to trade for. A lot of them are like 50 cents, a dollar, etc. And some old school cards like the first edition commons, first edition rares can be pretty cheap and people might just have them lying around and not even realize it. And that can be a really easy way to start off the collection. But the problem is that once you start getting to the more expensive cards, like the first edition Blue Eyes from the original set, or like first edition of like the earliest fusion monsters, all that fun stuff, it's going to get very pricey very quickly. Especially if you're just going to try to trade for it, you might not have enough to trade for it, and it can take you a very long time. But if you want something rewarding, not spend tons of cash, that's how I would do it. Uh, then the third and final way is entering into tournaments and this goes mostly for this type of stuff and you probably have to be playing around for a very long time if you want to get all this stuff just by entering into tournaments you probably had to do a lot of tournaments but if you can play area into tournaments so you can join get these cards here and there especially the ultis it gives you a way better chance of getting the ultis for a lower price overall plus you can get the supers on top of that so you can fill out the collection that way and this just mainly goes for the OTS and National Pack cards. Also, every once in a while, tournament stores might, you know, do a re-release of some of the older stuff from, like, the Astro Pack sets, and then you'd be able to pick up that stuff. Though this way, I think, is the least effective and will take the longest time period. I think it's, um, a way of doing things if you, you know, are willing to wait for a very long time. And then finally, the final way is to do a little bit of everything, and that's probably the best way to do things so if you want to do a little bit of everything build up a collection both quickly effectively and not have to spend tons of money first off always enter into, into tournaments even if you're going to drop later on always enter into tournaments you'll be able to get the stuff and you'll be able to fill out probably a couple of your empty spaces or get some multiples of like you know a super rare that's worth a little bit and then be able to trade it off and trade it up and do ulti eventually depending on like what it is um, then also trade cards, always trade cards, it's one of the best ways to get new stuff, get stuff you're looking for, and then finally just go ahead and buy the expensive stuff or even buy the cheap stuff that no one has. And doing a little bit of all of that mixed together, you'll be able to fill out a collection pretty quickly. That's how I was able to fill out pretty much most of the actual pack and OTS sets in about six months, having pretty much almost every card at this point from the set. Mine's like a few older cards and a few ulties that I have unfortunately not been able to pick up yet. But that will be the quickest way and it will get you there the fastest. 
Also, another way of um, being able to get this stuff pretty easily is a lot of people will throw away their super rares. If they, you know, if it's a really cheap super rare or if they don't want it. a lot of the stuff just gets thrown away. The only thing that really gets saved are the ultis. And so people, because they throw away a lot of the super rares, you can just get a lot of the super rares for free. Just as someone just leaves their stuff, you're like, hey, yo, uh, you guys, you want to hold on to that super? And they're like, nah. Then basically at that point, it's yours. And it's pretty, um, it's a good way of just filling out some of the stuff just because a lot of people throw away all of those, like, super rares. It's very surprising. You know, like, at the time, they're not worth anything. Over time, they become more expensive. So, for example, a really great example of this is um, the card Tenny Adhera. Tenny Adhera is a card from, I believe, OTS 12. And people were just throwing this card away like nuts. And no one wanted this card for, like, a while. Now that OTS 13 is out, people realize that this card is actually playable in Dinosaurs and in a couple of uh, fringe combo decks. Now this card's gone from, like, 25 cents, 25 cents a copy, all the way up to, like, 3 to $4 a copy. And just by asking people, hey, do you want to, like, take a dollar for, like, your Red Hero, or do you even, like, want at all? You can just get cards like this for super, super cheap, or even free from your friends or other players, and you only had to spend the money to um, pick it up. But that mainly goes for the super rares. A lot of the ulties, you're going you to have to definitely trade for like the ulties or definitely buy the ulties. And the way of getting to ulties is my recommendation is to do it online or see if someone's willing to get rid of their ulti for a lower than retail price. Basically, just send them an offer be like, hey, would you be willing to take this offer? And I think the easiest way to get ulties by sending offers online or sending offers to friends or other Yu-Gi-Oh players at locals. Since a lot of people, you know, aren't trying to uh, pick up ulties or maybe not as many as you would think of trying to pick up ulties just because of how pricey they can be, especially on release. Like for example, Bistwar, super, super expensive card right now and will probably go up in the future. So what you would want to do is to either A, somehow luckily pull it, or B, send a reasonable offer to the person and be like, hey, this is what I'm willing to pay for this. Would you be willing to negotiate on the price? And that's how you would be able to pick up a card like that. Same with Thunder Dragon Colossus back when uh, this card came out. And if you can't tell, they kind of look like Ultras, but they are actually the Ultis. Uh, re really nice looking card, one of the best looking cards. Uh, printed as an Ulti, but it was going for so much money. And then once you got lucky and pulled it, you would just have to uh, usually buy it or somehow manage to trade it for one. So that's just some of my tips, just some of the things that I've done over time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys have any other suggestions, leave them down in the comments just to educate people and kind of give them more ideas on how to get into specific collecting. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, let me know in the comments below. Like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're not subscribed and watching this video, please drop a sub. Thank you for watching.